morning. It's a blustery morning. Not too terribly cold, but not, you know, terribly warm. I'm, I'm you know, functioning without gloves this morning. <laughs> it's not that cold. But, it, you know, steering wheel, the steering wheel still feels, still feels a little chilly. I didn't wear a scarf this, scarf, God, I can't speak today. I didn't wear a scarf this morning. I wore a hoodie and my, you know, windbreaker. Ah, <clears throat> oh, maybe they'll go to school a different way. How's that? I think they'll go a different way. I think that's... That's a really smart thing to do, driver. Wow. Okay, anyway. Um, so, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Mm, yesterday was a really nice day. You know, sunshine and better temperature. So, not, not today. It's overcast again and cool again. Yesterday was wonderful and sunny and perfect for our field trip to Castle Kilbride in Baden. Baden. Baden, 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 Baden. So we had a whole bus full of students. Maximum. Full capacity. Uh, they had a great time. We spent oh, about oh, it was a little, a little over an hour. But uh, ah, the theater is coming along. Wow, it's interesting to see cars parked in the parking lot. Usually, when I go by, there's nothing, nobody. Come on, the weekends or in the evenings, closer that or yeah. This is all the all the workers working on the building on the future professional theater. Kind of cool. Nice to see the lights up, all the Christmas lights. Yes, so um, this place, Castle Kilbride, was the uh, the home that the <clears throat> Flax King of Canada built for himself and his family, his wife and his 12 children, and three generations lived there before um, selling it, and then it went into disrepair, and then it was bought by the township who has then, since then, spent time renovating it. Actually, it got a wonderful national, national designation. Anyway, historical designation. Because it has beautiful ton, ton loi, um paintings all over the house. So there are, you know, fool your eye type of paintings on the walls and on the ceilings. Really cool place. It has a beautiful belvedere on top of it, which looks out over the entire town of Baden. Village of Baden? I'm not sure what it is. But, uh, yeah, it was cool. The kids, the students, the kids, I was, uh, the students really liked to, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. I don't usually go this way, it isn't the shortest way. And as you can see, this is much busier than the way I go. It's an out of town route rather than an in town route. Ooh, that's a bad. Oh, goodness gracious. 
interesting moves. A car backing up across an intersection. Had you not? Yeah. Whatever. This this intersection has a, a red light camera. Which, you know, this would not have really covered. But. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We see all kinds. We get all the lights. What is it? So, we're really getting close to Christmas. So today, I believe, is the 30th. I think that means I have to do my stats. I'm, doing a, I'm going up for a pedicure tonight, and then we have to start shopping. We have to get some Christmas gifts. You know, the ones that are through the work gift exchange. Plus I'm, I'm getting a gift for a one child in the uh, daycare. So uh, yeah, we've got some easy gifts to get. A signal would be useful. You know, that's a little thing that you switch to let people know what you're doing. People just... taking them to school, they forget all the other things that they do the rest of the, the drive. And they just concentrate on their kids and not on their kids' safety. No, no, no. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this, but... with my irritation. Yeah, so we're coming we're coming from the top rather than from the bottom. Just so that you get a bit of variety. Liz, I am, you know, totally messing with you. <laughs> wow, look, there's nobody here. I'm not that early. Oh, 801. I guess I am a little early. A little early. I have nothing to do. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Nothing to do. All the news because of you guys. Ah, uh, yeah. What will I do? I suppose I should start, you know, marking my students' assessments. Maybe that's a plan. Mark assessments. Yeah. 